In my last video, we checked out the new Diva Smart Dimmer. Now, two quick updates. One is you can now go into the app and adjust the LED status. So if when the light is on, you don't want the light bar to be there, you can turn it off. Or if when the lights are off, you don't want the light bar to be there, you can turn that on or off as well, which is pretty cool. The second thing is I've been using smart dimmer switches in the house for many years now, but today was actually the first day my wife ever used the dimming capability on one of these switches. She said that the Diva smart dimmer is just way more intuitive, being able to quickly adjust it like this instead of having to push a button a bunch of times to get to the brightness level that she wants. So there you go. If you haven't decided if it's a great switch or not, maybe that will help you out. Well, today we're going to be checking out the new Claro smart switch from Casado by Lutron. And we're going to show you how you can set it up on a single pole or use it in a three way with a mechanical switch as well, which is a cool new feature between the Claro smart switch and the Diva smart dimmer. But the Claro does require a neutral wire. So we'll get all into that. Let's get this unboxed. So first up, you can see that this packaging is blue, indicating that it does work with the Casado system. Over here, it works with lighting five amps and fan three amps. So it's really great that you can control either of those with this smart switch, but there will be no fan control or adjustment of speed. So if you want that, you still need to get the fan control smart switch. Down here, it can unlock more features with the Caseta smart hub. Now you don't need to have that unless you wanna use voice features and connect it to the app. You can use this switch with other Pico remotes, so if you had a switch somewhere you wanted to add a three-way to, you can just buy a Pico remote and pair it directly to this to have that control. Down here, you can see the model number. You can install it in 15 minutes. And then here, the neutral wire is required for this smart switch. And then here is the ways in which you can use this. You can set this up on a single pole, wired or wireless three-way, and multi-location capable with an accessory switch or Pico remotes. So a lot of features there. Um, let's go ahead and unbox this now. Um, these packages are kind of hard to get into, but I heard if you just like squeeze it like this, it breaks it so that then you can get into it. Uh, kind of worked. There you go. So here it comes with five wire nuts, two screws and a small wire nut. And then here we have the switch with the simple light right there. And then on the back, you can see that it has the ground, the blue, the black, the red, and the white. So let's go ahead and get it set up. We're gonna cap off the blue for a single pole location. And then we will use these as the line and load and the neutral wire and ground. And these are also a little bit smaller than some of the other switches that I have. So that's really great to see. Let's turn off the power. Next, we're going to remove the plate and remove our existing light switch. Now we're going to check with our voltage tester that the power is off. Looks good. Now next, I'm going to match up the wires. So here we have the load. Here we have the neutral. Here we have the line and ground. Now I'm gonna do a little tug test, make sure everything's looking good. Hopefully you don't have this much going on in your box. And now we're gonna put it all back. Now we're going to screw them in, put the face plate back on and turn on the power. And for the first time ever, we now have all Decora matching light switches, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, there is just a single indicator. If we turn the light off, you can see that the light does turn off and there it turns on. Now I forgot to do a click test, so listen. Now it's not quite as clicky as this one over here, but I would say I like it better than the other style of Caseta switches. Now that we have our switch set up, we can simply turn it off and on just like that. And there you go. That is the Claro smart switch. The next thing we could do is we could pair a Pico remote directly to this so we have a second light switch we can add in the room. You can add a Pico remote pretty much anywhere in the room. So you just hold down the off button for I think 10 seconds or something on both of them. They automatically pair together and then you can use the Pico to control this. So that's an easy way to add a three-way control 
with a single pole light switch. But the next thing I wanna do is connect this to my Caseta Smart Bridge so that I have access to it on my phone, through the internet, or all my voice assistants, and even be able to adjust some of the settings. So here we're in the Lutron app. I've already set up my Caseta Smart Bridge. We're just going to select the settings here and select add device. And then here I'm gonna tap on the in wall dimmer, switch and fan. So we're gonna tap on that. And then I'm gonna hold down for 10 seconds on the off button. Once it's flashing, it's then connected it to the smart hub. And here we're gonna add it into the kitchen. And let's see, this is a pendant light over the table, perfect. So we're gonna tap next, and now it's adding that device into our system. And here it's doing some final programming, but we can now tap on the table pendant, turn it on just like that, and turn it off. If we go into the settings, we also have the same setting here, we can adjust the status LED. So let's say we want the light on when it's on, and we want it off when it's off, we have those options, or if we want it off when it's on and on when it's off, we can adjust all those. So I think that's really great, especially if you don't like having a little light in your room at night. So we're not gonna adjust the settings there. So now that we have this, let me go ahead and set this up with my other Pico remotes here in the room. So here we have the kitchen Pico remote. I'm gonna hit edit. I'm gonna choose devices. And there it is already controlling the table pendants. So that's great. And then I'm gonna to go to this other one, the deck Pico, edit that one. And I'm going to add the table light to this just for fun. So now let me show you what that has done. Here we have the switch. You can turn it on, turn it off. The table light turns on and off. And let's go ahead and turn off the can lights here. So now I'm gonna to go to the kitchen Pico remote. And here when I turn on the lights, it then turns on the can lights and the table light. And this is a dimmer, so if I try to dim, it's only dimming the can lights because the smart switch doesn't have the dimming capabilities. Let's go ahead and turn those off and you'll see both of them turn off. And lastly, here's the deck light. So I can turn on the deck lights, but also when I push this button, it can now turn on the kitchen lights. There you go. That's one really cool thing you can do with the Pico remotes is use them to turn on and off any of the Caseta switches that you have. Now let's go ahead and show you how you can set this up in a real wired three-way situation. Now before we get into the actual wiring of these, let me explain how you can have these set up in a three-way light switch. So down here on the end of the three-way, that is my location one, and right here is location two. So location one is where the line comes in. So that's where the power comes. And then location two is where the load is, where it sends the power to the light switch. So if you are using the Claro or the Diva dimmer switch, um, this is how you can do it. So you can actually have it set up on location one. So location one could have the Claro or the Diva, and that's where it would be controlled from. And then over here on location two, it can have the mechanical switch. So you can turn it on and off and everything works fine, but the dimming or the main controls are down at the other end. So that's one way to have it set up. The second way to have it set up in a three-way with mechanical is you can actually have the Claro or the Diva at location two. So you can have the mechanical switch stay at location one and you just change the wiring so that the location two is where you have the smart switches and then they can adjust the light and everything. And for me, that would be nice because then it would match the style over here and kind of look a little nicer um, in this room. And then you can have the dimming controls right there. So that's really cool that you can use Claro or Diva in the one or two locations for a three-way switch. Now the third way in which you can create a three-way switch is using the Claro or the Diva switch on one end and then having a Pico remote on the other end. Now to do this for both of these switches, you will have the actual switch location at location two, and then you will have the Pico remote at location one. Now this is the only way you are able to do this if you want to have the dimming controls at both ends is to have the actual switch at location two 
and having the Pico dimmable remote down at location one. So there's a bunch of wiring guides on how to do all of this, but let's go ahead and wire this up uh, in location one and so that then we can keep the mechanical switch down here. All right, so here I'm gonna take the Claro or the DVRF 5NS and place it in location one. So first let's connect the ground. Then we will need to do the neutral wire. So then on the old switch, you're going to find the wire that is attached to the black. That will be the hot that is going to attach to the black as well. Now we're going to take the blue and attach it to the off color traveler wire. So here it's going to be the white. And then we're gonna take the red and attach it to the black. All right, and that switch has now been wired. Now let's head down to location two. All right, so here on location two, we are now going to remove the load wire and we are going to remove the black traveler wire. And then we're going to cap these two and the jumper wire together. And then we're going to take the jumper and attach it to the black screw here on the three-way switch. So here we have the white traveler wire that is connected to the blue on the Claro switch. And then we have the black connected to the jumper, connected to the load, as well as the black traveler wire. Turn on the power, see how that works. All right, so here we have the location two and it's able to turn it on and off. And here at the Claro switch, we have... And after hours of troubleshooting, I could not figure out the problem. I tried all kinds of different combinations, even called Lutron, and we couldn't get it to work. But I believe there is a problem with my wiring on the neutral wire here. I do have two circuits coming into this box, and they're combined, and I feel like something's wrong there. But anyway, I ended up taking off the Claro switch, moving it here to the second location, and putting the jumper wire with the mechanical switch on location one. And now we successfully have the three-way switch with both of those. So here I can turn it on and off. I can do the same with the mechanical switch down here. And then here I can use the Claro no problem. So, so glad that did end up working, but I don't know why. You shouldn't have an issue, um, but just follow the directions there. So the wiring we have here at the mechanical switch is I have the line coming in, connecting to the jumper and the black travel wire. And then that is all connected to the common. And then here we have the white jumper wire going to the other side I don't have a ground or anything over here and no neutral on this side. And over here we have the black travel cable connected to the black on the box. Then we have the ground connected to the ground. We have the load connected to the red. And then we have the white traveler connected to the blue and we have the white connected to the neutral, and that is how it should work. So now let's go ahead and try the Diva switch and see if it's as simple. All right, now the wiring for this will be very similar. The only thing is you do not use the neutral wire. So here we're gonna connect our ground, connect the load wire, connect the black to the black, and then here we're connecting the other color traveler to the blue. So it could be red or white. And the neutral just stays there, we don't touch it at all. And then here at location one, we have the line or hot that is coming in. It is connected to the jumper wire as well as the black traveler wire. And those are connected to the common on the mechanical switch. And then we have the white traveler wire that is connected to the brass. And this goes to the blue cable on the switch. And once I turn the power back on, Everything is working, awesome. So let's go ahead, try power it off. Works great, power it on. Try dimming. And it dims no problem. Let's go down to the mechanical switch. 
works perfect. And that will turn on to whatever the dim setting is set on the slider. So let's go turn this down to very low. And there you can see it turns back on to that low setting. And so from that end, you can't adjust the brightness and you can't set it to full. You would have to come over here to the main switch to be able to do that. Now before I wire the Diva on the other end at location one, let me show you how you can control the brightness over there. Now the only way to do this right now is through a Pico remote. The accessory switch that is coming out um, will not have dimming capabilities. Let's go ahead and show you how you can wire the other end to put a wall plate bracket and a Pico remote. This can only be done by having the Pico at the location one and the switch at location two. There weren't any other schematics to have it the other way. So where the line or the hot comes in, that's where the Pico remote goes. And where the load to the light is, that's where the switch goes. So here we have the hot coming into the common, and then we have our two travel wires. So for this, all we're going to do is take off the switch, and then we are going to take the hot and the two traveler, and we're going to wire nut those together, pop those in, and then we can add our wall plate bracket and add our Pico remote right here. Let's test it out. Power's back on. Let's turn on the light. Turns on like that. Here we can dim the light. And then we come down to our Pico remote. Turn it off. Just like that, turn it on. Let's uh, do the dim level. And then we even have a favorite level that we can choose with the Pico remote. Let's turn it full brightness. And there you go, that is how you can use a three-way with the Pico and the Diva dimmer switch. Let's try the Diva on the other end and a mechanical switch on this side. All right, here at location one, we're going to remove the switch, attach the ground. Then we're going to attach the line to the black. We're gonna attach the white to the blue or the miscolored wire. And then we're going to attach the black traveler to the red. We're gonna take our white traveler and put it on the brass here. We're gonna take our jumper, put it on the common. And now we're gonna tie our jumper, our load, and our black jumper together. And that's it for location two. So let's test it out. Okay, the power's now on. We can turn it off with the mechanical switch. It then goes to the previous dim level on the Diva. Turn it on from here. Turn it off. Adjust the brightness. And one more time, turn it off and turn it on. So everything works great. Um, works so much better without that neutral wire. So really, I think it was some problem with my wiring, why the Claro didn't work in that three-way with a mechanical, but I did get everything except that one to work. And that is how you use the new Claro Smart Switch in a single pole, a uh, three-way with a mechanical switch, and a three-way with a Pico remote. And that is also how you use the Diva Smart Dimmer in a mechanical three-way from both ends, as well as with the Pico remote. So I really hope this video was helpful in understanding all the different ways in which these two new smart switches can be used within the Caseda ecosystem, which I'm very happy to have. I love the new toggle style. Like I said, my wife thinks they just look a lot better and it's so much easier to use the dimmer. And I love how you can set it and then turn on the light without having to go from all the way up to the top or all the way to the bottom. It's just really nice to have all those features. Now there is one more feature I failed to show off in the Diva video, which was the click and hold to turn off. So if we click and hold and then wait till it flashes, there it's flashing. And now we can walk out of the room while the lights are on. And then after a few seconds, the lights will turn off. So here it's flashing. I think it should be turning off soon. And there the lights are slowly dimming 
and now they turn off. So this is great if you have a basement you're scared of being in while it's dark, you can hold the button down, get out of the room, and then the lights will turn off once you leave, which is pretty cool. So if you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna let me know what I did wrong down there as well, please do so. And if you wanna pick up these products, they are becoming available. I've seen them at the Home Depot. Um, they're just sending out the shipments now, so you can check the link in the description below. And if you wanna check out more about the Diva Switch, you can check out the video here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.